Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Arturo. Hello, Santos. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Fine. Fine? Fine. Okay. Uh, today is only uh, you, Santos, and you, Jose, and me. That's it. No more students. <laughs> no, it's not true. It's not true. Uh, more students are talking. <laughs> oh, I said I said that today is going to be only two students. You Santos and you Jose Arturo. Arturo, no more students. Mm -hmm. No, uh, I'm just kidding, okay? I'm just kidding. Okay, um, so how are you today? Tell me, what do you do today, Jose Arturo? What do you do today? Your mic is off, uh, Jose Arturo. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I had a very busy day. Um, I have a lot of work. Okay, thank you. Welcome, Noemi. Welcome, Wendy. Welcome, welcome. Okay, what about you, Santos? Um, how was your day? What do you do? Fine. It, uh, uh, help. It is on the homework to get my direct. Oh, okay. Good. That's good. Okay. What about you, Noemi? What do you do today? I don't sleep. My baby is sick. Oh, okay. How is your baby? Good? Feeling better? My, my baby girl um, Um. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, su micrófono está apagado, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. My baby se enfermó de fiebre. Oh, um, it's a baby girl, right? Or a baby boy? Baby girl. Okay, uh, she got a fever, fever, fiebre, fever. fever. Yes, fever. Yeah. Se escribe fever. Fever. Okay, let me type it. Fever. Okay, over there, see? Fever. Fever. Okay, for example, se enfermó. For example, I say, oh, you know what? Yes, teacher? I go to the, I go to the two, day, two days in the hospital. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I hope uh, I hope uh, you can get, I mean, she can get better. All right. Just in, in case, if you don't know how to say, for example, oh, hey, teacher, me enferme. It's I got sick. I got sick. And then if you, if you want to say, hey, you know what? Mi hija se enfermó, or mi padre se enfermó, or mi esposa, mi esposo se enfermó, mi hermana, mi hermano. So it's simply. Solo menciona, um, got sick, ¿sí? For example, my daughter got sick. My father got sick. My mom got sick. My wife got sick, and so on, okay? All right, or my girlfriend or your boyfriend, okay? All right, good. Okay, so welcome, Erika. Welcome, Brian. It's good to see you. Welcome, welcome, Wendy. Jose Arturo, welcome Noemi, and welcome Santos Bolaños. Santos was kind of worried because I told Santos that nobody else was coming to the class. And he was like, really? <laughs> uh, but that was a joke. That was a joke, Santos. See, 
Yo sé que extraña a sus compañeros. That's why they are here. Aquí tenemos a Naomi, a Noemi, a Brian, José, Wendy, and Eric. They are not going to let you down, Santos. They're going to be with you. All right. Okay. Uh, and see, now is Elmer. Elmer Celaya, see? ¿sí? Welcome, Elmer. How are you today, Elmer? How are you? Good night. Good night. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Elmer? Sorry. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, nice. Nice. It's good to see you in here. Okay. Welcome. Thank you. Okie dokie. All right. Um, so now, what are we going to do? Okay. Let me or give me a second. I'm going to start um, sharing my presentation. Give me a second, please. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. So, how are you, Brian? Hello, teacher. I am fine. I have sueño. <laughs> oh, I am sleepy. I am. I, I am, am sleepy. sleepy. Yes, I am sleepy. Okay. Do, do not sleepy. say, no van a decir, verdad? I have sleep. Como yo tengo sueño. I have sleep. No, we don't say that, right? No decimos, I have sleep. Decimos, I am Sleepy, ¿sí? I am sleepy. Tengo sueño. ¿Ok? All right. Ok. Thanks. So, welcome, everyone. Ok, I'm going to start. Ok, I can see Fátima. Welcome, Fátima. Welcome, uh, Romero. Welcome, uh, Marvin. Welcome, Marvin. Ok. Good. All right. So, I'm going to start sharing my, what? My presentation today. Today, if chances allows us, if, 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 um, if, uh, if we have enough time, we are going to cover this topic, okay? Describing my city. You're going to be talking about Santa Ana, San Salvador, Lourdes, or whatever you live. You want to, uh, you are going to describe what your city looks like, okay? All right. Remember that yesterday we were doing something, uh, we were practicing what? ¿Qué estábamos practicando ayer? Okay, but what were, uh, what were discussing yesterday? Uh -huh. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, stay with me. Simple no se me duerman, por favor. Ya los veo así como que están cabeceando. So, please, stay with me. Yesterday, see simple past. Ah, simple past. Okay. And what else? Also, the used to, remember? How oh, to use to. Aha, yes. How to use the used to. Remember when you were saying, oh, we used to play ollitas. ¿Se acuerdan cuando jugaban ollitas? <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, uh, what about when you used to play um, hide and seek? ¿Saben qué es hide and seek? No. ¿Qué es hide and seek? Las escondidas. A las escondidas, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I used to play high and seek. Sí, I used to play high and seek. Uh -huh. A las escondidas. Ok. What I want you to do right now, lo que quiero que hagan es, escríbame one sentence using used to or use not, dependiendo si es positivo o negativo, Uh, about something that you did when or you didn't do when you were a child. Okay, go to the chat, everyone, and do it for me, please. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let me see your sentences. Okay, I have I have four sentences. Okay, Fatima, I used to eat snacks. Okay. Noemi, I used to play pomponte, niña. Pomponte, is that one, Noemi? Yes. <laughs> okay, I don't know. It goes like pomponte, niña, pomponte, viene tu marinero, something like that, right? <laughs> okay, vamos a ver, Elsie. Uh, when I was a child, I used to... Oh, Elsie, ahí necesita un verbo usted. When I was a child, I used to... Skate o play with a skate, a skateboard, como una patineta. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you, Elsie. Uh, let's see, Brian. When I was a child, I used to eat roca nieves. Ah, okay, good. Uh, okay, Eric, do you used to play soccer when you were a child? Oh, good question. Uh -huh. Jose Arturo, when I was a child, I used to ride a paco, a big pig. Oh, is that a piggy, Jose? Okay, era, ¿qué es el big pig? Jose Arturo? No sé qué es el big pig. Okay, Elmer Celaya, I used to play volleyball. I, I, Wendy Ramirez, I used to go to the park with my parents on Sundays. Marvin, I used to play trompo, good. Santo Bolaño, I used to, varitas mmm, de colores, uh, Santos, Santos Bolaños, are you there, are you here, Santos? Hello, Santos. Sí. Sí. Ok, en este caso, Santos, necesito un verbo, porque ahí solo me dice, por ejemplo, I used to, varitas de colores, ¿qué? No sé si es comer, oh. jugar, oh. dormir, oh. bailar, I don't know, uh -huh. I used to what? By the way, what is varita de colores? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es varita de colores? Solo me imagino un, un palito pintado de muchos colores, but I don't know if that's the one, that's the one you are describing. Ajá. Ok, vamos a ver los otros ejercicios. Let me see. Uh, Marvin says, I used to play trompo. Oh, pig. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> Okay, let me see, Romero Ponce, when I was a child, I used to play trompo. Santo Bolaño, I used to play varitas de colores. Okay, good. All right, so it's good to know that you remember that, and that's good. Vamos a la siguiente. Okay, right now, um, we are going to play an activity, a game. Okay, I don't think we had done this game with you. I don't think I had done it with you. But it's find something. Okay, find something. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. For this activity, okay, for this activity, we need, I need you to open your camera for this activity. Okay, I will ask you to open your camera for this activity. All right, because the activity uh, is going to be fun. You are going to get up from where you are and you need to find something, okay? For example, imagine I, let me see, I'm looking for something, okay. Imagine I ask you for, please find something um, white, for example. Let's suppose that I, hey, please find something white. So, yes. You need to stand up and find something white. Ta -da, I have it right here, something white. Mm -hmm. So, por eso que necesito que prendan su cámara, porque tienen que mostrarme que you have found something white. Ok. Ok. Le va a tocar levantarse. Necesito que me abran sus cámaras, everyone. Ok. Uh, Eric, I don't see your camera open. Uh, Romero Ponce, I don't see your. Uh, camera open, and Ronnie, no veo su cámara abierta, okay? Eric, Romero, and Ronnie. Thank you, Marvin, for opening your camera. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine, Eric. Thank you. Okay, vamos a ver, Ronnie y, 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 y Romero. 
Can you open your camera? El teacher dice, no, no podría utilizar la cámara porque es una... Hoy me han prestado otra oficina en el trabajo y esta no tiene la cámara. Ah, ok, limitada. ok. In that case, I understand. Ok, no worries. Vamos a ver, Ronnie. Ronnie. Ok. Ok. Ronnie. <laughs> ok. All right. So, um, ok. Are we ready? Este era el ejemplo, right? So if I say some, find something white, you gotta show me something white. Okay? This is an example. Okay, vamos a ver. The first one is, tan, 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 find something red. Red, red, red. Something red. Huh? Something red. Everyone, Brian, including you, Brian, you gotta move. Uh huh? <laughs> Vamos a ver, todos buscando algo red. Ok, Wendy, good, Wendy. Marvin, good. Elsie, good. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Ajá, Noemi, I don't see something red, Noemi. Tiene que levantarse y ir a buscar algo rojo. Ok, Brian. <ríe> ok, thank you. Uh -huh. <ríe> Elmer, thank you, Elmer. Let me see, Ronnie, good. Fátima, what about you, Fátima? Oh, Luca Noemi. Okay, Luca Noemi. Okay, good. Santo Bolaños, is that red? Hmm. Okay, good. Es lo, es lo más rojo que tengo aquí. <laughs> that looks like maroon. Okay. Pero sí, eh, sí es rojo. Ah, okay. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Marvin, what do you have, Marvin? What do you have? ¿Qué tenía usted? ¿Qué mostró? Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok, good, 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 good. Ok, next. Ok, next. No van a hacer trampa, ok. Find something that is square. Algo que es cuadrado. Something that is square. Ok, no, that's not square, Noemi. Square. Something that is square. Let's see, let's see. Something that is square. Hmm. Ronnie, yes, yes, that's good, Ronnie. Let me see, Elmer. Yes, Elmer. Ah, Marvin, good. Hmm, Santos, that's not square. That is a rectangle. Ah, Noemi, see? Okay, Wendy, good. Jose Arturo, good. Let me see, Brian, good. Fatima, good. Okay, Ronnie, good. Okay, good. Elsie, what about you, Elsie? Oh, Elsie is looking for the... Oh. <laughs> Look at Santos Bolaño, the same thing. La misma cosa está utilizando. Okay, next. Find something that is made of wood. Something that is made of wood. Algo hecho de madera. Something that is made of wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, pencil. Good. Thank you, Noemi. Algo que es made of wood. Let me see, Ronnie. Good, Ronnie. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Fátima. Wendy. What do you have, Wendy? Uh, pencil. Okay, Marvin Pencil. Uh -huh. Let me see. Uh, Brian. <laughs> okay, good. Let me see, Fátima. Good. Let me see, Elmer. Wait, Elmer. Did you go to the kitchen, Elmer? <laughs> Su esposa se va a enojar if you don't put it in the right place. Or maybe your mom, or maybe your daughter. I don't know. Let me see, Jose Arturo. Oh, also Jose Arturo went That's to the one. Ah, su esposa le va, le va a dar duro si no colocan esa cosa de madera en el lugar donde la encontraron. Vamos a ver. <laughs> Vamos a ver, Elsie. Good, Elsie. Let me see, Adela. Oh, nice. That's a good night. That's a good one, Adela. Good. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Okay, good. Now, next. Find something that is yellow. Yellow. Oh, Wendy, good, good try. Wendy, good. Look at Ronnie's, look at Ronnie's. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Fatima, good. Noemi, good. Vamos a ver, Jose Arturo. Oh, yeah, good. Santos, what about you, Santos Bolaños? Adela Martinez, good. Adela, let me see, Elmer. Oh, nice, Elmer. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Santos, uh, veo algunos de ahí que se están haciendo. La mesa, la mesa, la mesa de María. Mesa. Okay. Oh, Brian, good. Vamos a ver, Marvin. 
No vi algo amarillo, Brian. I mean, uh, Marvin. Elsie. Oh, nice. Good running. Good, good running. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Marvin, good. Okay, good. Next. Vamos a ver next one. Okay. Find something that is colorful. What is colorful? Hmm. Oh, algo que tenga muchos colores. Colorful. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at Pony. Look at the Pony, Pony. Okay, Noemi, good. Las Arturas, good. Elmer, good. Adela, good. Ronnie, good. Is that Spider-Man? Spider-Man Santos? Yes. Oh, I'm Wendy, good. Nice ah, hands. okay. Good, Wendy. <laughs> Ronnie, nice. Nice, Ronnie. Uh, vamos a ver qué más, qué más. Wendy, good. ¿Qué más falta? Mm, Elsie, good, good. Vamos a ver. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that a blanket? <laughs> Brian, good. Thank you, Brian. All right. And the last one. Vamos a hacer la última because of the time. This is going to be uh, very difficult. Find something that is a triangle. 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 Uh -huh. Something that is triangle. Hmm. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Algo que es triangle. Hmm. I don't know. You Tri don't know. Eso. <laughs> un triángulo. <laughs> Algo que es un triángulo. Ah. A triangle. No, triangle. No. Triangulo. No That's the most nada. difficult one. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. ¿Cómo? ¿Dónde? Oh, look at Ronnie. Ah, oh, nice, Ronnie. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Elmer, <laughs> that's not a triangle. Vamos a ver, vamos a I ver. Don't vamos find a ver. anything. Okay. Uh, thank you, Elmer. Huh. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Solo veo Ronnie y Elmer, creo que me lo han, han mostrado el triángulo. El triángulo. Y los restos veo que andan allá buscando debajo de la cama. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Miren, miren la idea de Santos. Miren la idea de Santos. Look, look. Look this. Oh, yeah, Noemi. That's a good one. Look. look at, miren, hey. lo que hizo, miren lo que hizo José Arturo. Adela, good. Marvin, good. Wendy, good. Ok, San, uh, Santos, good. Miren la idea de Brian. Ok. Elmer, thank you, Elmer. Fatima, thank you. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you. Thank you for participating. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Santos, I have a question, Santos. What do you do, Santos? What do you do for a living? Yeah, I'm um, living in Sala. Huh? ¿Qué, qué hace? Uh, ¿Qué es lo que hace? Um, do you work? Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, uh, informal, informal, uh, comerciante informal. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why. See, he's very clever. Es muy listo, yes. clever. So that's why he thinks. <laughs> and then, okay, no tengo un triángulo. Voy a buscar una, una almohada, una, ¿qué? Una toalla, and I'm going to have a, a triangle. Uh -huh. He's very clever. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? You should be an architect. Usted debería ser un arquitecto, Santos. Mm -hmm. You teacher. have a lot of good ideas. Mm -hmm. Good. Teacher. Good. Uh -huh. my, my daughter says that class is interesting. Oh. <laughs> so, so, so fun. <laughs> oh, hi, hi. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, okay. Remember, if you put something, if you take, I mean, if you took something from the kitchen, go and put it back to the kitchen, okay? If not later, I don't want to be in trouble. No quiero estar en problemas later. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to uh, thank you. Um, thank you for um, standing up and looking for uh, looking for what? Looking for the items I requested to do. Okay. Good. All right. Um, yesterday. Um, yesterday we were talking about our childhood. Remember? Do you remember? That we were talking about our childhood. Okay. Um, probably we yeah. didn't have a time. We didn't have a time to 
to write sentences about ourselves. Do you remember? Like, I used to, I used to, I used to. All right? I used to. But uh, we just did that activity at the very beginning yeah. of the class. Eso hicimos, ¿verdad? I used to what? I used to eat. I used to play trompo. So we did that. Okay, good. I'm just reviewing right now the simple past. Because on Wednesday and Thursday, we talked about the simple past. Okay? Remember, tenemos, uh, y eso lo explicaba el día de ayer. We have simple past. Tenemos dos tipos de simple past. Uno que es con el verbo to be, all right? The verb to be es el pasado simple del verbo to be, que puede ser was and where. Was or where. Was and where. Y yeah. el, otro, el otro pasado que es con el verbo, uh, con cualquier otro verbo. ¿Se acuerdan de eso, verdad? Okay. Yeah. So yes. we have a positive, uh, positive verbs, uh, verb to be. I was cold. You were tired. See? He was in the garden. He was late. late. He was rainy. We were on holiday. They were, they hungry. were hungry. All of them are positive. Positivos. How about negative? ¿Qué tal negativo? I was not sleepy. You were not on the bus. He was not at school. He was not ugly. He was not hot. We were not at work. And the last one, they were not tired. All right? All of them are with negative. Todos son negativos, right? All of them. Okay, how about if we want to ask questions? Remember, for asking questions, we have who, who quién, what, what, qué, when, cuándo, where, dónde, why, por qué, por qué. And, and how, cómo. cómo. Yes. Okay, so we can ask questions with WH words, right? For example, who was I? ¿Quién era yo? Or you can say, who were you? ¿Quién eras tú? All right? Or, for example, where, where, were you? Where were you? ¿Dónde estabas? See, where were you? Or, why were you in the kitchen? Imagine at three o'clock in the morning, where were you in the kitchen? I mean, why were you in the kitchen? ¿Qué estabas haciendo en la, en la cocina? Why were you in the kitchen? Okay. Esas son uh, preguntas que podemos hacer. All right. Next. Yesterday, uh, we covered also, and that's the other kind of, um, del pasado simple que tenemos. Y es con, ¿se acuerdan que yo les decía, verdad? Que cuando tenemos los verbos regulares, le agregamos ed. ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. Yes. Ok. Por ejemplo, yes. ¿cómo se pronuncia este verbo, por cierto? ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese verbo? Worked. I worked. I worked. 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 Yes. I worked. 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 Yes, worked. Ok. Eh, y le decía, ¿verdad? Que cuando ocupo el auxiliar para el negativo, nothing happened to the verb. For example, I didn't work. He didn't work. You or we didn't work. Pero si es en positivo, sí. Tengo que agregarle ed a los verbos. Seguro, si, el, si los verbos son qué? Si los verbos son regulares. ¿Verdad? ¿Sí? Ok. Y tenemos para hacer preguntas. Lo mismo como el was y el where. For example, when did she leave? Where did she go? What did you study yesterday? Why did we cry? All right. Tenemos eso mismo. Okay. ¿Hay alguna pregunta ahorita acá? Vamos a ver. 
Quiero que, vamos al chat ahorita. I want you to go to the chat. And I want you to write negative sentences. Con el didn't. For example, I didn't take a shower today. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But that's an example. Okay. I didn't take a shower. Tell me another sentence in negative. Utilizando el didn't en negativo. Please. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't work today. He didn't take a shower. Okay, good, good, good. I didn't cook the oh. dinner. <laughs> oh, you didn't cook the dinner. I didn't sleep enough today. Good, good. Uh -huh. I didn't study today. Good, Brian. Vamos a ver, ¿qué más, qué más? Con negativos. Ok, vamos a ver. I didn't eat today. <laughs> Good example, Ronnie. You didn't eat tacos yesterday. Ok, I didn't drink coffee today. Good, Marvin. Good example, Marvin. I didn't work in the office. Thank you, Santos. Thank you, thank you. Ajá, ¿qué más, qué más? Vamos a ver. I didn't work out today. Oh, ok. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't, didn't work watch out. TV. I didn't watch TV today. Okay, good. Oh, I didn't eat pot, patsu. I didn't talk to my mom today. Okay, good. But now I want to make sure, quiero estar seguro, que ustedes pueden hacer preguntas también con el did. Utilizando qué? Utilizando when, where, what, or why. Escojan una de todas. Utilicen ya sean when, where, What or why? In my case, yo voy a ocupar, vamos a ver, voy a ocupar why, ¿sí? Según la fórmula ahí, ocupo why. Después necesito cuál? ¿Qué necesito did. después del why? Did. Ok, did. Auxiliar, después, ¿qué, ¿Qué necesito después del did? El subject. El subject. Ajá, el su, ajá, the pronoun. El sujeto. The sub, el sujeto, ok, the subject. Ok, voy a ocupar you. ¿Y después qué sigue? Después de que ya tengo el why, ya tengo verb. el did, el verb. verb. Ok, the why verb. do you eat my tamales? Ok, esa es mi pregunta, ¿sí? Why do you yeah. eat my tamales? Hey, Wendy, why do you eat my tamales? Uh -huh. Ok, <ríe> escojan por favor una oración, que ustedes van a hacer una oración. Vamos a ver, Ronnie, what do you do today? Good. Ajá, vamos a ver, otra oración. How do you prepare a salad? Nice. Excelente ejemplo. Vamos a ver, ahí está la, la fórmula, miren. Eh, WH word, de ahí va D, después va el sujeto y después va el verbo. Ok, vamos. Quiero ver que me escriban una oración así. Vamos a ver, José Arturo. When do you go, when do you go to the gym? Good. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, Romero. Why do you do that last night? Oh, good, good question. Vamos a ver, Wendy, what did you do last night? Ok, Brian, why do you... Mm, Brian, vamos a ver, Brian. ¿Puede ver mm. ahí el verbo, Brian, en rosado? ¿Puede ver el verbo en rosado, Brian? El verbo. Ajá, el verbo que está en rosado. ¿Los puede ver todos estos verbos que están en rosado? Yes. ¿Lo ve? Did you eat, yes. Sí. ¿Sí? Ah, vaya, le pregunto. Eh, ¿Esos verbos están sí, en... Lo... ¿En pasado o están en presente? ¿O están en su forma normal? Están en presente. Ajá. En su forma normal. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, ¿qué le debería de arreglar a su, a su oración? Ajá, excelente, muy bien. Ajá. Ok, good. Vamos a ver las otras oraciones. Vamos a ver las otras oraciones. Vamos a ver, Adela, what did you eat today? Good. Elmer, when did she eat pupusas? Good. Vamos a ver, Elsie. Where did my mother go? 
Santos, why do you dance in home? At home. Okay. Marvin. At home. Yeah. Why do you go to school today? Okay. Jose Arturo. What did you eat yesterday at the breakfast? And Ronnie. Why did you go to buy the shoes? Noemi Cornejo. When did to go to the writing and money? Okay. Vaya, mire, eh, Noemi, revise esta parte acá. Mire, usted está utilizando when, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad, Noemi? Noemi. I mean, Noemi, I'm yes. sorry. Yes. Vaya, si usted ve. Yes. Si estoy utilizando el when. Ok, tengo when. Chévere, ¿verdad? Vea su oración. De ahí necesito el did. Ya lo tengo. Después necesito el que necesito. El subject. Hmm. Vaya, revise su oración. ¿Tiene sí, subject? Tiene razón. Ok, si no tiene el subject, ok, lo que hago es I go and I include the subject. Ok. And after I have put the subject, what I need, I need a verb. Y ahí me queda la oración perfecta. La pregunta. I said, Brian, why do you break that? Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Okay. Solo espero la oración de Noemi and we move on. Okay. Uh, where do you put my food? I put it in the fridge. <laughs> okay. Vamos a ver. Um, Noemi, I'm just waiting for your sentence. I mean, your question. Okay, Noemi, when do you, uh -huh, when do you go to the, when do you go riding a, mo a motorcycle? When do you go riding? ¿Cuándo fuiste a montar bicicleta? I guess, right? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, when do you go riding a motorcycle? Sabían, y esto creo que lo, va, yes, lo van a ver en el, en el uh, module 2, en el intermedio 2, van a ver esta parte, y es que, um, let me see. ¿Han visto esto? ¿Han visto estas siguientes expresiones? Así como, por ejemplo, go running, go dancing, go shopping, go what? Go traveling. ¿Qué más? Go cooking. Go cooking. Ajá. ¿Por qué? Porque uh, ahí se utiliza que la, la, el verbo go... Most of the time, if I don't say always, you can have that combination, go cooking. Hey, you know what? I'll go shopping. I'll go shopping. So I'm going to take the example that Noemi had. El, el ejemplo de Noemi dice, when do you go to the riding? En vez de to the, puedo decir, when do you go riding a motorcycle? Okay. Oh, right. Okay. All right. No, no, no. Uh, as I said, eso lo van a aprender en el módulo 2. Okay, so no worries. All right, okie dokie. All right, let's move on. Mm, let me clear all the thing and then we are going to move. Remember, estamos reviewing, estamos repasando. Okay? And then also we see that, right? We studied that I used to. Remember that? I and then I had used to. Y el verbo está normal en presente. ¿Ok? Si tengo el negativo, I didn't use to drive cars. ¿Ok? Good. All right. So let me see here. Ajá. Uh -huh. Can you tell me what places do you see here in your, in, not in your city, but in this city? What do you see? Can you describe what you see? Traten de omitir lo, las letras abajo, ¿verdad? Solo con el vocabulario que ustedes saben, díganme qué ven. Por ejemplo, usted me puede decir, oh, number one is a flag. El número uno es una flag. De ahí me puede decir, oh, number whatever, it's this. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Museum. Ajá. What number, what, what number is a museum? What number? Cars. Cars. People. People. Number cars, two, city. People, uh, number two, church. city hall. City hall, number no. two. No, oh. number two is not church. Oh, number two, I don't think it's a church. Uh, no, museum. no, no, uh -huh. no, museum. Museum. church. It looks like a museum. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Num I, number, I number 17, a cross from. Number 17, it's a crosswalk. Uh -huh. A crosswalk. Yeah, or pedestrian crossing. Um, 
Uh -huh. uh, traffic uh -huh. light. What number is the traffic light? The uh, 16. Vamos a ver, ¿dónde está 16? Um, I don't see 16. 16. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you were right. A crosswalk. It's a traffic. Um, uh, mailbox, uh, 26. 26, what is 26? Oh, mm, are you sure 26 mailbox. is a mailbox? Mm, yeah, oh, or trash I don't can. Think, I don't, no creo que sea el 26 una, una mailbox. Oh, it's Ah, uh, uh, statue. Uh, oh, it's statue. See. Yeah, it's statue. Oh, oh, it's statue. Yeah, uh, statue. It's statue. Yeah. Yeah. I... Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Mm -hmm. uh, theater number five. Number five. A theater. theater. Uh -huh. Sabían que in the United States, no sé quién es el Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the United States, a movie theater is a cinema. Theater yeah. oh. also es una traducción de teatro, pero en Estados Unidos si decimos theater, yeah. movie theater es un cine, el cine que nosotros decimos. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. um, sí. Ok. Number so we're, seven uh -huh. is a taxi. Number um, seven, a taxi. Good. Ok. What else? Guitar player. Number. Um, number number thirteen. Do you think it's a lamb? Number 13? Authority. A singer or oh, guitar player. Or number 13? 30. Oh, okay. Number 30. 30, it's a <coughs> lamb. 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 Okay. Thank you, is, Adela. Um, musician. Musician. Okay. Yes. Number 13 is a yep. musician. 13. Okay. Thank you. I need to move on because of the because of the time and I need to cover an important information. All right. I want you One. to match. We have uh, some combinations, some compound nouns. ¿Qué son los compound nouns? Son dos nombres que unidos hacen Compuestos. un solo. A compound noun. For example, subway station. Oh. Subway station, see? What about bicycle? Yeah, bus station. Uh -huh, bus station. Bicycle. Uh -huh. um, bicycle. Vaya, vamos al chat, por favor, y quiero que me escriban las combinaciones posibles. Compound nouns. De cosas que pueden haber en su ciudad. Por ejemplo, it could be a parking what? Parking. Parking something. Bicycle. Vamos a ver. Go to the chat. Ok. José Arturo, Bicycle Lane. Ajá. Línea de bicicleta. Brian, Train Station. Ok. Uh -huh. A Fátima, Bus mm. Station. Good. Elmer. Oh, Elmer. Mm, are you sure it's stop bus or bus stop? Elmer. Stop bus or bus stop. En español sí es parada de buses. En español, ¿verdad? Parada de buses. Pero en inglés no es parada de buses, sino que es buses parada, algo así. So, that would be bus stop. Bus stop. Ok, vamos a ver. Ronnie, bus stop. Santos, taxi stop. Good. Elmer, bus stop. Ok. Vamos a ver. Traffic light. Ajá. Taxi station, good. Police station, good. Genial, genial. Vamos a ver. Traten de utilizar los que tenemos acá. ¿Cuáles podemos utilizar con news? Con news. Alguien que me diga. Con... Uh -huh. News space. News. ¿Qué? Vaya, ¿Qué es news, por cierto? ¿Qué es news? New system. Um, en este caso Mi sería news, no son... news stand que es como una venta de periódicos oh, news, uh -huh. news es periódico uh, news stand. entonces sería news stand como una, un punto news de stand. venta de periódico news stand uh -huh. ok how about, how about let me see uh, vamos a ver otro otro street what about street Street stop. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, it could be a street stop or street light. Street stop. Street light. Street stop. Street light. 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 Street
Yeah. What is light, by the way? By the way, what is a light? What is light? La, mm, Las lámparas. Sí, yep. pero en este caso eh, sí tiene sentido. Lights es como luz o lámpara, pero en este caso, si yo digo street light, no me estoy refiriendo ah, a las luces sí, de la más. calle. ¿Me estoy refiriendo a qué? Lo que está en la calle. Yes, semáforos, semáforos, yeah, semáforos. Yeah. No, <ríe> no es semáforo, es right? semáforo. Street light. Es, es traffic light es un semáforo. And traffic ¿no? light también, ajá, en traffic light. Vaya, sometimes in the United States, by the way, in the United States, sometimes you can hear only, hey, you know what? I'm going to wait for you at the light. At the light. En la, en la luz. No dice la luz, pero en realidad no es la yeah, luz, sino que es el semáforo. Space. Uh -huh. Semáforo. Parking space. Good. Ok, vamos, continuemos. Parking space. All right. um, you know that in English countable, we have uncountable. in English that is uh, that is countable and uncountable nouns. Are you familiar with that? Contables y no contables. Yeah. Nombres contables y no contables. Yes. Are you familiar with that? Están familiarizados con ese tema? Nombres contables y no contables. Uh, yes. All right. All right. When we talk about countable nouns, we talk about things that we can count. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, por ejemplo, eh, el teléfono es contable. Yes. Sí, right? Contable. Yes. Porque puedo decir yes. one cell phone, countable. two cell phones, Cancel. three cell phones, etc. All right? What about, um, what about, um, what about uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns Sugar. is the opposite. Uncountable nouns, I can't. Listen to me. I can't count. For example, sugar. I can't no count. puedo contar el azúcar, pero sugar? sí puedo contar las libras de azúcar, right? For example, no yeah. puedo contar el agua, right? ¿Puedo contar el agua? No, pero sí puedo contar no. las no. botellas de agua. Oh, Ajá. All right? For example, la leche. ¿Puedo contar la leche? No. no. I can't no. count the milk. Pero sí puedo contar las cajas. The box. ¿Ok? Box. Mailbox. Yeah. The box. Mailbox. The earth. Ok. The ¿Puedo earth. contar el aire? No. Pero puedo contar los no. cilindros de aire. The cylinder. Los cilindros de oxígeno o los cilindros de aire. Yes. Ok. So be careful with that one. Just a, this is just a remind. A, remind, a reminder for you between countable and uncountable. Por ejemplo, el arroz, rice. ¿Puedo contar el arroz? No. No, no. but I can count the pounds, las libras. Pounds. Yes. Las libras. Voy a escribir acá por si no saben cómo se decía libras. Por si. Pounds. Pounds, ok. Libras. Ok. Oh. Pounds. Por ejemplo, oh. puede ser, por ejemplo, si usted es comerciante, puede ser I sell, let's say, en el pasado, I sold two pounds of rice, ¿sí? Two pounds. Vendí yeah. dos libras de arroz, ¿sí? Um, and, and cooking, we can use um, a couple of rice. A couple of rice? No, yeah. you can use a little bit. A little pero no puede decir al, uh, uh, some of them. Ok. Vamos a, ya le voy a, ya vamos a llegar a ese tema. Uh, esperen un momentito, José. Okay. Ahí, José. Uh, ok. So, as I said before, uh, we have the adverb of or quantity. ¿Cuáles son los adverb of quantity? Son estos, miren. Ahorita se los, se los muestro acá. Adverb of quantity, too many. ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar many? Voy a utilizar many con count nouns. Mm. Ok. What about too much? ¿Cuándo voy a utilizar too much? With uncountable nouns. Ok. Por ejemplo, eh, there are too many cars. Si ¿Sí ven, carros es un nombre contable, ¿verdad? So, por ejemplo, digo, yes. there are too many cars. Ahora vamos con too much. 
el tráfico es un nombre no contable. Porque no puedo decir un tráfico, tres tráficos, cuatro tráficos, cinco tráficos. ¿Ok? En inglés, ¿verdad? En español nosotros decimos, vieras que me encontré dos tráficos. El primero fue en la esquina de la tienda. Dos trabazones. Y Ajá, dos trabazones. El primero fue en la esquina de la tienda y el segundo fue por allá. En Spanish we can say that, but not in English. ¿Ok? Vamos. Ok, what about the other one? There should be fewer. ¿Qué significa fewer? Menos. Menos. Pero fewer es solamente con contables. ¿Qué es lo opuesto acá? Less. ¿Qué es less? Less. less. Menos. menos. Pero menos, menos es menos. utilizado con no contables. ¿Ok? Vamos ahorita. So far, too many con contables. Too much with uncountable. Fewer con contables. Less with no contable. ¿Ok? The good thing is I can use more con ambos. Puedo utilizar more con ambos. For, for example, can you give me, can you give me more water? Water es contable o no contable? No contable. No. Ajá, sí. Can you give me more water? Vamos a la otra oración. Can you give me more apples? Sí. En ese caso yo estoy yeah, utilizando, more. ajá, sí. Estoy utilizando more con contables y no contables. Ok, good. Lo mismo pasa con enough. ¿Qué es enough en español? What is enough? Suficiente. Suficiente. Ok. Suficiente. Enough, I can use it con, lo puedo utilizar con contables y no contables. Ok, I can use that. Lo mismo pasa acá. En español nosotros decimos un parqueo, dos parqueos, tres parqueos, cuatro parqueos, cinco parqueos. Pero en inglés no puedo decir así. No puedo decir, por ejemplo, one parking, two parkings, three parkings, four parkings. No puedo decir eso. Pero en español sí lo puedo decir. Ok. Si ven, todos estos nombres que están acá. Water, ice, oxygen, Spanish. Meat, flour, soccer, wine, sugar, milk. Todos esos no pueden ser pluralizados. ¿Ok? Si no pueden ser pluralizados, son nombres no contables. All right. ¿Estamos ahí claro? Yes. Yeah. Well. Clear. Ok, vamos a ver aquí. Déjeme ver. Ok, vamos a... Lo mismo here. Look. Look at this one. Es la misma que tenía anteriormente, solo que ahora estamos con nombres contables. Por ejemplo, pen. Puedo decir pen. one pen, two pens, three yeah. pens, four pens, and so on. Computer, they say one computer, two computers, three computers, etc. Todos estos nombres que ven acá los podemos contar. ¿Verdad que los podemos contar? Si los podemos contar, entonces sí podemos ocupar Look, esto, todo lo que tenga que ver con contables, puedo ocupar aquí, ¿sí? Puedo ocupar too many, por ejemplo, puedo decir, too there are too many, Computer. too many what? Too many computers. Too many computers. Ajá, también puedo decir, there should be fewer, fewer what? Fewer uh, flowers. Flowers, ajá, yes. Deberían de haber menos flores en el jardín. I don't know. If you don't like flowers, you can say that. Ok. Ok, vamos a, hagamos una oración esta. We need more what? We need more. Problem. ¿Ah? <laughs> you more say problem? Chairs. Oh, vamos a ver. Ok, sí, miren. Necesitamos yeah. más chairs. Mm -hmm. Ok. We, we need, need more, more spoons. Ajá. Or we need more spoons. Y ok, good. Signals. Dígame algo que no es suficiente. There aren't enough. ¿Qué? Tables. Tables. Ok. Uh, ¿Tenemos table acá? Ok, yes. Aquí está table. Yes. ¿Sí? There aren't enough tables. Ok. Volvamos atrás para hacer el ejercicio. Vamos a ver el ejercicio. Aquí vamos atrás. 
Ok. Ok, vamos a ver too much. Vamos a ver con too much aquí ahorita. Con nombres no contables voy a utilizar esta parte de acá. Por ejemplo, there is too much what? ¿Qué pueden ocupar? De, ¿Qué me pueden decir de acá? Too much meat. There is too much meat. Hay mucha carne, meat. ¿sí? There is too much meat. Ok, va, ahora dígame algo que debería haber menos. There should be less. Um, traffic. Ah, ok. Less traffic. traffic. Debería haber menos tráfico. Yeah. Ah, ok, now, de, dígame algo que debería haber más. We need more. Wine. Ajá. <laughs> <laughs> ok, we need more wine. Ok, ahora dígame algo que no es suficiente. <laughs> there isn't enough. There isn't enough. Um, money. Soccer. Sunshine. 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 Uh, Sunshine. Posiblemente oxígeno. Yo me iría por oxígeno. Clean oxygen. Ok. Ajá, oxígeno yeah, limpio. Oxygen. Clean oxygen. All right. Yes. Ok, uh, but no se preocupen, My, el lunes vamos a seguir hablando de este tema, ok. Si está un poco confuso, no worries, porque vamos a seguir hablando del tema. Ok. All right, vamos a ver, ayúdenme aquí, y esta va a ser la última actividad que vamos a hacer. Ok. ¿Me pueden ayudar acá, por favor? Vamos a ver. Aquí dice, complete these no. statements about transportation problems, then compare with a partner. There are, bueno, para saber qué voy a colocar, lo primero que necesito saber es si el nombre que estoy, voy a describir es contable o no contable. Police officers, contable o no contable. Contable. Ok, oh, ok, es contable, o sea que voy a ocupar esta parte de acá. Vale, bueno, chévere. There are what? Ahí no hay respuesta correcta, ¿ok? Puede haber más de una respuesta, ¿ok? Entonces sería, there are, puede ser too many, ok, now, creo que hay demasiados policías right now, uh -huh. <ríe> ¿ok? Yes. There are too many police officers. También podría ser, there are fewer, hay menos policías, ¿ok? Vamos a la siguiente, number two. There should be, be too there many are, too <laughs> many cars in the city. Too many cars in the city. Uh -huh. yes. Good. Okay, vamos al otro. There is, miren el nombre, miren el nombre. Enough. There is what? More. There is we, we were, more. ¿Es contable o no contable? Oh, Primero more, pensemos en eso. ¿Es more. contable o no contable el nombre? Oh, contable. Es contable. Uh -huh. Contable. Uh -huh. Oh, ok. It's not contable. Ok, so eso significa Why? que es uncountable. there is what? Too much puede ser there is, hay mucho transporte público ahorita. O puede ser uh -huh. hay, hay poco o hay menos public transportation. Police. Ok, good. Well, look at this one. Highways. ¿Qué es highways? Carreteras. No, no. Carreteras. Ok, good. Vamos al número cuatro. The government needs to build. Construir. More. 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 More highways. Highways. Good. Ah, número cinco. Solo terminamos esto y nos vamos, ok. Ayúdenme aquí, por favor. Ok. Uh, número 5. There, there should be noise. Huh? Noise Less. es contable Less. o no contable. Contable o uncountable. Non-countable. Non Non-countable. Non okay. ok. So debería de ser. There, there should, should be. be. Debería de haber. Less. Fewer. Less. Less. Fewer. Less. 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 Ah. There should Less. be. Less noise. Less noise. Sí. In the city, yeah. right? En la ciudad. In the city. Vamos al siguiente. Public parking garage. Ok, look. Public 
public parking garages. No. The city needs more. No, oh, aha. Is the more. city needs more public parking more garages. More. Okay. Vamos al siguiente. Miren, miren. Air pollution. Countable or, or non-count? Mm -hmm. Non-count. Non okay, non-count. Non so, there is, ¿qué? There no. is. No more. There is no. There is there too is. much, there is less, or there is more, or there isn't enough? There, no. there isn't uh, There is less. too much. Ajá, there ah, is sí. too Hay much. Mucho. Hay mucha much. contaminación del aire en la ciudad. ¿Ok? Y la última, the last one. Y ahí terminamos. Sure. There are... Too many. Too many cars are, parked there are on the street. Ok. Ok. So, okay. as I said, as I said, vamos a terminar el lunes, vamos a terminar con... Sí, sí, ya era la última actividad que teníamos. Ok. So, I want to say thank okay. you on Monday. Vamos a review. Voy a, el, el lunes vamos a, a, a review the same activities. Okay. Just in case if something is not clear, on Monday we are going to continue working on that. So, I want okay. to say thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. And please, I hope to see you on Monday. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everyone. Good night, Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Eh, dígame, dígame, Brian. Mm -hmm. También nos va a compartir la diapositiva. Okay, yes. Eh, eh, okay. Your just presentation, in case, please, ajá, just in case, ajá, yes. Just in case you need the presentation, let me know in the chat. Si me dejan saber en el chat, yo al siguiente día en la mañana, when I get to my office, I'm going to unload it. Mm -hmm. Please let me know, porque okay. si no recuerdan, pues a mí se me olvida. Yes. To be honest. Okay. Sure. Okay. So thank you everyone. Thank you. I hope to see you uh, on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.